We are joined now by Cal State Bakersfield coach Rod Barnes and student athlete Caleb Higgins. Coach, if you would please start us off with your opening comments and we'll take questions afterward. Well, first of all, um, I'm always thankful to God for every opportunity that I get to coach this game. Uh, what a great game uh, that I love so much. Uh, having the opportunity to work with young men every year. Thankful and grateful. Uh, and this season has been one where uh, I've seen a lot of young men grow in a lot of different ways. And I'm thankful just to be a part of that. Uh, this young man beside us is a special human being. Um, it's going to be tough, uh, obviously, seeing him leave. Uh, he's one of the toughest kids that I've ever coached. Uh, every day since he's been here, he's tried to give us his all. And I'm thankful. And that's not all the time that uh, you just have a player of, of his caliber, but not, not only that, but just the type of person he is. Uh, and uh, again, I'm thankful. Uh, today's game, uh, obviously, give Riverside credit. Uh, we got a big lead on them, and they were able to work their way back. Uh, we kind of anticipated, in a sense, because they have a very good basketball team that that could happen. Uh, you know, I thought we defended at a high level in the first half, and obviously we shot the ball uh, really well. Uh, I thought in the second half, uh, you know, we turned the ball over at some really crucial times uh, that I think gave them some momentum and gave them some opportunities to not only get an easy basket, but, uh, you know, on some plays that we probably, uh, which we did in the first half, uh, we executed regardless of what they were doing. And then we got careless there. So uh, obviously, uh, I'm thankful because uh, <laughs> we only have eight teams to get here, and we ha happen to be one of the eight uh, that I wasn't at home and didn't get left at home. So uh, again, I'm proud of our kids because whether it's on the court or off the court, I've seen major growth, not only just on the court, but in their lives. And that's what I've been called to do. So, uh, are there any questions? Anthony Vasquez, KGT 17 News in Bakersfield. Uh, Coach, just talk about the impact Caleb has had on this team this season, especially coming off that injury that cut his season short last year. Well, I mean, obviously, you know, just as he worked his way back to be where he is, and he, and he came back better. That's just to say something about him. Uh, he just didn't come back this season. He came back better than he was last season. Uh, he's made an impact uh, on our program uh, because we kind of carry that kind of underdog, uh, unappreciated in our program. And I think he exemplified that with the most class and dignity that you could possibly uh, think of. So uh, he'll leave a mark here uh, on our program, and he'll be a reference for a lot of guys that come along behind him. Caleb, what does it mean for you to hear – Coach Barnes, um, compliment you like that. Um, <clears throat> it means a lot. Um, coach took a chance on me when I didn't have nothing, and I'm really, I'm really excited that I chose to come here and play for Coach Barnes. Uh, he taught me a lot, not just about basketball, but about, about life. And I'm just appreciative of Coach and the whole coaching staff. And I just, I just want to thank all of them. When I got hurt last year, um, that was my support group. Um, when my mom and them back home, they couldn't make it. They was there for me. And um, I just, I'm just grateful that I chose here and got to play under Coach Barnes. Greg Kirk, KBAK TV in Bakersfield. Uh, Caleb, you first. Can you just share with us the feeling walking out that floor at the, when you came out last couple seconds? What was that, that was like for you? Um, Heartbroken. Um, we had the game, and we just we just got lazy with it, and it was just a heartbreaking moment. Coach, uh, for you, uh, it seemed like a tale of two halves. I know you mentioned uh, turnovers, but could you just did they do anything in particular that sort of took you guys out of your game in the second half? I don't think so. I mean, I, I think it was more about us. Uh, you know, they're a good team, so I, I definitely want, don't want to take away uh, from them having a really good team. 
Yeah, they've won seven out of nine games in our league coming into this game. So they're playing well, and they have a good team, and they're well coached. I just think it was on our end. I mean, there were several times that, you know, we had the ball and had a two-on-one like we had in the first half because they trapped Caleb, and we just threw the ball away. We were careless with it. And I think any time you have a team that's a good team and you have them down and then you give them momentum, we basically gave it to them, you know, because of the, if you go back and look at the plays, we just didn't make good plays when we needed to make them. And then, uh, you know, it gives them momentum, gives them confidence. And, uh, again, during this time of the year, uh, as I told our team, yeah, this is the time where you make people beat you, you know, and every, every possession that you have is because they play good defense or, you know, they made a big-time shot. But they made shots – uh, but they got their momentum off of our mistakes, and that's, that's disappointing for me. One more for both of you, and uh, we were also informed. I know you're not about individual awards, but you reached 1,000 points, Caleb, and also a Division One record 35 tonight, uh, breaking your own record along with Jarkel. So congratulations on that. Uh, but for both of you, and I know you addressed it a little bit, Coach, just the journey of this season because – it was it was pretty crazy one. Uh, Rod, you first. Well, I mean, uh, again, we we had. I mean, we got so many guys that were new, uh, so many guys that were hurt from last season. I mean, we limped to the end of the season last year. Uh, you know, we had several guys that were on our roster this year that didn't play. Started with Caleb being one of them. Uh, you know, only played a few games in conference play. Uh, Modestas, and then Ubnas, who's out tonight from sickness still, uh, and then try to bring some guys together, uh, you know, with, that had not been here, play a certain kind of way. And it took us a while uh, to just come together, you know, uh, and, and it's a, you know, as you get into conference play, you need everyone to be together. And I'm not talking about being together that we were not as a team. I'm talking about understanding each other and understanding what guys do and trusting them, you know, in the middle of plays and situations. And again, uh, I thought we grew. I mean, I think we started off 0-5 in the league. And man, to see the resilience and the perseverance of this team, man, I was glad to be a part of it. Uh, I, I'll say this and probably speaking too much. In a time where I just think a lot of people are giving up and hopeless, uh, things don't go their way, they feel entitled. Uh, to be with this team and see them, because we could have shut it down. Our team could have went opposite ways. Uh, we could have had guys, you know, didn't want to play or quit or, or no longer were still on the journey. And, and I, I, I praise them and I thank them for that because it's easy now, you know, to say, hey, man, I'm gone, I'm out, I'm a transfer, or I quit, I'm just going to move on. And to see these guys hanging there through those tough times, uh, to find themselves starting to play well and come together, uh, it was amazing for me. And I have a bunch of respect for them. So, uh, but, you know, I think as today, um, and as I told them in the room, uh, and I think defense for our program win championships. And uh, second half, we didn't play like a championship team. And that's why we're going home. And for me, that's disappointing. Not the effort that our kids gave this year, not the growth, uh, but just the hate for it to end this way, especially with a guy like this uh, being his last game for us. Uh, he's deserving of every honor and accolade and you know recognition. And uh, again, he's made me better by being his coach. Can you repeat the question? the question? Yeah, just the journey of the season with your teammates, the way it started and how you guys fought through it. Um, it's been it's been a tough journey. Um, we started out 0-5. Um, we just stayed together. We found ways to connect with each other. And um, we just kept battling every day to get better. And um, the, these guys on this team, they just, they more than my teammates. They my brothers. Um, if they call me, I got them, uh, and I'm and I'm gonna miss miss this program very much. I miss Coach Barnes, Coach Weiss, um, a lot of people in the um, program, 
And um, I'm just thankful for this moment, for the opportunity that um, I, I have gotten. And I just, I'm just thankful. Coach and Caleb, we appreciate your time. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you.